I'm an attorney based in, in DC. I've been practicing for the last seven years. And uh, like Jacqueline said, I represent a lot of photographers along with a lot of other creators as well and different uh, small business owners. So uh, yeah, today we're gonna talk about copyright. Um, there's, it's been in, it, it, it seems to be always in the news. There's a lot of things going on actually, a new uh, small claims court um, uh, copyright uh body has been created um so that's an exciting piece of news that we're going to touch on too but kind of uh just starting from the basics uh you know what what is copyright so um it's a it's a term that's used a lot photographers you know obviously know it uh but really it, it is a federal law and uh it it is a law that provides protections to people who create uh, intellectual property when and intellectual property being with photographers photos um, something that's uh, come up recently is who really uh, owns the copyright um, and this issue was brought to light uh, in a recent news um, story with uh, a Black Lives Matter protest and a person had taken a photo of the McCloskeys, the people who are holding um, guns and pointing them at uh, uh, protesters as they walk by their their house in uh, St. Louis, um, and a, a main issue of that case, um, they were sued for copyright infringement um, by the photographer because they had used uh, one of the images that the photographer had taken of them um, in a Christmas card. Uh, they'd use one of the images. And so the photographer claimed that was a, a, an infringement on their rights. So the, a lot the central issue, though, of that case was, well, who owns the copyright to that, to that image? Um, generally, uh, copyright is automatically attached to, uh, to automatically goes to the person who has taken the photo, who presses the shutter button. Um, but in certain circumstances, that's not always the case. Uh, they claimed um, in that McCloskey case uh, that the photographer shouldn't have copyright uh, protection over those images and that the, the copyright should be transferred to, to them because they claim that the photographer took the photo um, on their property. So it invaded their privacy. Um, and that raised a couple interesting questions. So when a person takes a photo of someone uh, perhaps illegally or, you know, maybe through trespass um, or invades the, the, the right of privacy of someone else, does copyright still go to the photographer? And it, as a general matter, it, it does, because that's a separate law, really. We're talking about copyright law, and then they have this law of, uh, uh, of, of trespass. Um, and here, in that case, the two kind of intersected. But... Um, Copyright allows someone to the exclusive right, the copyright owner, to distribute and these distribute photos, to disseminate them, to make um, uh, you know copies of them. Uh, and it, they were trying to you know say that the photographer shouldn't have those rights. But um, you know when you do something, uh, when you take a photo that you may have taken illegally or against the rights of someone else. You're not relinquishing your copyrights, but you may be limited on how you can actually use that image. So in a sense, although you know, you're not giving up uh, your rights, you may be limited on how you can use it. So in that case, um, that's kind of what the court may decide and what they're, if they, they may argue in the alternative that, you know, the, the copyrights may not transfer over, but the photographer may be prohibited from using that image in certain circumstances.